today it's time for Overwatch's poster child to step into the limelight. In my opinion, the trickiest and one of the most annoying heroes to play against, but also one of the most fun to play as, Tracer is a 26-year-old space and time-hopping English adventurer. She's rated 2 out of 3 stars in difficulty and has 150 points in health, the lowest health possible in the game. Her story is pretty interesting, it reads. The former Overwatch agent known as Tracer is a time-jumping adventurer and an irrepressible force for good. Lena Oxton, callsign Tracer, was the youngest person ever inducted into Overwatch's experimental flight program. Known for her fearless piloting skills, she was handpicked to test the prototype of a teleporting fighter, the Slipstream. But during its first flight, the aircraft's teleportation matrix malfunctioned and it disappeared. Lena was presumed dead. She reappeared months later, but her ordeal had greatly changed her. Her molecules had been desynchronized from the flow of time. Suffering from chronal disassociation, she was a living ghost, disappearing for hours and days at a time. Even for the brief moment she was present, she was unable to maintain physical form. Overwatch's doctors and scientists were stumped and Tracer's case seemed hopeless until a scientist named Winston designed the Chronal Accelerator, a device capable of keeping Tracer anchored in the present. In addition, it gave Tracer the ability to control her own time, allowing her to speed it up and slow it down at will. With her newfound skills, she became one of Overwatch's most effective agents. Since Overwatch's dissolution, Tracer has continued to right wrongs and fight the good fight wherever the opportunity presents itself. So, that is how she got her abilities to manipulate time. And I like how we have a little bit of a look at her story as to how she met Winston, because I think those two are friends, which is cool. Okay, so let's talk about Tracer's handguns she uses, those super rapid firing pulse pistols. You can choose to shoot these a bit at a time or unload the whole clip super quick. One second to be precise. Yeah, Tracer unloads 40 bullets in one second. And in one quick gun twirl, they're reloaded again. Each bullet hit does 6 damage, and can easily damage or finish off enemies. But because she's just a twitchy character and no other player you play against stays still, it's unlikely that you'll kill someone in the first attempt. Because the guns fire so quickly, it makes them a little difficult to control too so it's definitely better to get up into enemies' faces and shoot rather than fire at them from a long distance. The bullets also spray, making it doubly difficult from long range. Anyway, here's a fun fact for you. The pulse pistols are linked to the Chronal Accelerator and fire compressed energy rounds. Now, I don't think people come here for her guns. They come here for her time and space traveling abilities, the first being Blink. Hitting L1 will cause Tracer to zip in the direction she's moving in, around 7 meters, meaning you can zip forwards, backwards, sideways, or even diagonally. It even works in the air and when going up and down stairs too. It has many uses, and of course the first obvious use is it can be used to confuse the hell out of enemies and make it difficult for them to track you and get a hit on you. You have a maximum of 3 blinks charged at one time, and when you use one, it takes three seconds for it to recharge. So you go into a fight with fully charged blinks as your best bet, and you could use them as fast as you want. It is even helpful for getting to objectives more quickly and taking the enemy team by surprise. Now her second ability, which makes her even more annoying to play against and even more awesome to play as, is her ability to rewind time, called recall, when a situation gets too hot to handle. Rewinding time takes Tracer back to where she was three seconds before, regaining some of her lost health if she has lost it in that time frame. There are three things to note when using this ability, two cool and one not so cool. Number one is not so cool. When rewinding time, you will not regain any lost shields if you lost it within the three second time frame. Number two, it doesn't affect the recharge of your other abilities, which is handy. And three, if you were on a moving platform three seconds ago and you activate recall, you will go back to where the platform currently is, which could make for some really sneaky assassin type maneuvers. Her recall ability works perfectly with her ultimate ability pulse bomb too. The pulse bomb is a sticky heavy bomb 
that is thrown towards or onto an enemy and shortly after explodes. Like I said, it is heavy and can only be thrown a few meters ahead of you. The explosion has a 3 meter radius and deals a maximum of 400 damage. So if you stick someone with it, you can almost guarantee they're going to die, unless they're a tank with full health. The way I see people use this, the three abilities together actually, because the bomb can kill Traitor, is to zip up to an enemy, stick them with the pulse bomb and rewind time to get to a safe distance away before the one second timer is up and it explodes. It is especially satisfying when you stick an enemy with it and then he backs into his teammates, killing them as well as himself in the process. So, as we can see, Tracer is a fantastically quick character and the player needs to have a very twitchy thumb to control her. It can take a bit of getting used to to master her abilities and to know when to zip forward and when not to because it is easy to overshoot it. But once you do, you'll have tons of fun and you'll almost be able to hear the cries of anger from enemy team players when you pull off those slick moves. Ready. 